okay as we have discussed the newton theory as well as the hydrogen theory now we are going to discuss about the third theory that is electro magnetic wave theory now what this theory says that the light is electromagnetic wave emv means electromagnetic wave this theory said that light uh, basically travels in electromagnetic waves like all theories are having their different uh, opinions for example like newton said that the light travels in the in the form of tiny particles that are corpuscles then hydrogen says that the light travel in the form of waves then electromagnetic wave theory said that the light is basically electromagnetic wave now basically electromagnetic waves carry electric with this name it can show that electric as well as magnetic so this electromagnetic waves carry uh, electric as well as magnetic wave sorry magnetic field okay now this electric and magnetic field is basically perpendicular that is basically perpendicular and having an angle 90 degree how we'll be discussing it okay no medium is required here no medium is required okay and here the light will travel in the form of crest crest and trough okay for example this is a wave okay this is a wave for example this carry electric field this carry magnetic field then this carry electric field then magnetic field then electric field then magnetic field okay so as the light is light is moving in the electromagnetic wave so that is a crust and trough the crust and trough the light will travel in the, that is known as a crust and trough so the light will travel in the form of crust and trough here it is making a 90 degree angle it is making 90 degree angle okay and here it is making 90 degree angle these both are perpendicular to each other that is why we are saying that electric and magnetic field both are perpendicular and having an angle 90 degree okay so no medium is basically required here and light as we said that light basically moves in an electromagnetic wave but the path of the wave will be a transverse wave what does mean by transverse wave for example when light when the light will move in the form of crest and trough that wave is known as transverse wave so electromagnetic wave will always travel in the transfer in the form of a transfer wave because there's another second phase that is a longitudinal wave that basically moves in a straight line longitudinal wave okay that all only sound like sound travels in this longitudinal wave but here we are talking about electromagnetic wave that is basically that is basically our transverse wave okay if you talk about like how electromagnetic wave is produced so for example if a charge if a charge is in rest if the charge is in rest it produces electric field and if a charge is moving or we can say is moving with the uniform velocity so it produce a magnetic field okay but when the charge accelerates and moves as well accelerates and then moves then it produces electromagnetic wave okay if we talk about the fourth theory that is a quantum theory basically it was given by max planck okay this theory basically what it says that the light 
basically emitted from a luminous source in the form of a packet of energy in the form of packet of energy basically he said that the light emitted from a luminous source in the form of a packet of energy and that packet of energy is basically known as a quanta or photon okay now he has given a derivation as well that energy of quanta it is directly proportional to it is directly proportional to the frequency okay energy is the energy means energy of quanta is directly proportional energy of photon or we can say energy of quanta is basically directly proportional to the frequency and removing a proportional sign we have to add a constant we are adding a constant here h h is basically a planck's constant okay h is basically a planck's constant and the value of planck's constant is 6.63 into 10 s power minus 34 joule into second that is basically a planck's constant value